Hello there, I'm of course Sean Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do another edition of the Ghost Letters Report. Now, probably most of you are aware that a lot of things have been going on in Japan recently. And I thought we'd talk about this idea or material reality that Shinzo Abe appears to be forming some kind of fascist dictatorship here in Japan. Now, I know that's a pretty big statement, that's saying a lot, but let's look at the things that have been going on since he's come to power. And I always use the LDP to do it. Now, Shinzo Abe rose to power during a time when the uh, Democratic Party of Japan was in power. The Democratic Party of Japan is kind of like a social Democrats. There was a lot of heat on that party, on the, on the nuclear issue, because that party was in power. When, all, when Fukushima happened, but the groundwork that allowed Fukushima to go down was clear, clearly created by the LDP for decades and decades of like corruption and uh, government and nuclear industry working hand in hand, uh, lack safety standards, and all this. So it comes a power in that, and not one but two high courts at the time said that that election was unconstitutional. Due to um, gerrymandering of district districts and voting, it becomes a power. Then, one of the first things he did was clear house of this nuclear uh, committee that had said under the previous government that nuclear power has got a goal. There's no way we need it. It's not good for us, right? Clears house of that, purges that entire committee, and places it with people who give the exact opposite opinion. Now, that's just the start of this. And then, he, this is kind of recent, probably about a year ago now, he declares a sudden snap election. Now, a snap election in Japan is when the, the government says, um, well, we don't have enough support for things. So let's dissolve the lower house and declare an election. Which he did. Now, the reason he did this was to secure his power for many, many years in the future. Because snap election only be called once during a current government's control. And he had no opposition. Because the LDP put a lot of effort into the dismantling and demolishing anybody that could stand up to him. So they clearly won the election. It was overwhelming victory, but it wasn't really a victory because <laughs> it wasn't really want to fight him or go against him, you know. So he won that. Then, I'll be pat rams through the, the house in a very undemocratic way. These uh, state, the state secrets law. Now, state secrets law says that if you're a journalist and you ask, just ask a government official any question about anything that's been deemed a classified or a state secret, your ass is going to jail. And you're going to spend a lot of time in jail, many, many years in jail for that. Now, if you're a government official who answers any questions regarding something that's uh, deemed classified. Well, you leak that information. You're going to jail for a long ass time. Now, here's the kicker. If you're a journalist, you don't know what's classified and what's not. You don't know what to ask. So a lot of intimidation, a lot of fear. <coughs> a lot of oppression of the media. is clearly the intent of that law. But it gets better. Abe's big goal, you guys probably heard a lot about it, is the collective defense thing, the whole remilitarization of Japan. I've done lots of videos on it, and I've said, you know, Japan's in a state of fascism. Because the first thing demon came to power and said, I'm going to reinterpret Article 9. Article 9 is the um, basically part of the Japanese constitution that says Japan renounces war, aggressive war. Only, the, only, the only thing they keep in military for is self defense. They don't go to foreign countries, they don't go anywhere. And a lot of Japanese people are in support of that. A lot of Japanese, overwhelming majority of Japanese people want that and like that about their country. But Abe no, kept on pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, you know. And uh, at this point, he's rammed through the house, lower house, again, very undemocratically. Because it's parliamentary government, the LDP has a majority rule, so they don't have to listen to anybody. They have, you know, they don't have to do what the opposition says, they don't have to cooperate on jack shit, all right, and they don't, all right, 
There was all the brouhaha over it when it was going down, man. Uh, the parliament got pretty nasty. A little physical. And that's in the upper house and see how that goes, but I'm pretty sure it's, this is going to come to pass and we'll see Japan engaging in imperialism and being uh, Daddy America's lapdog in Asia. But he's done more. Also, he's went completely against the will of the Japanese people and it started to restart nuclear power plants. And there was all this hope when they had this new Japan regulatory agency that it was going to be tough. You know, but all they've really done is shut down or refuse to restart a lot of really, really old nuclear power plants that, you know, restarting would be ridiculous. But a lot of other questionable ones, they've let uh, TEPCO and uh, KEPCO, which is a Kansai power company, get away with some minor changes and say, it's safe now. Well, it will be safe in the future because we got a plan to make it safe. You know? And all these massive protests, all these things all be is done. Doesn't amount to anything. I'm not saying this type of protest, get in the street and scream and shout, is, is not important. No, it is. It's very important. It lets the government know they're doing something against the people. And it raises, it raises awareness and gets people to know what's going on. But it hasn't really had any effect. Because you know? when you have this type of situation, you got a guy like Abe, you know, when you already have a, a capitalist, bourgeois dictatorship in society and the economy, and you have a guy who's a clear nationalist, fascist, carrying out a political dictatorship, screaming and shouting at these people isn't going to get it done. He has to be stopped by force. Some have suggested the Supreme Court will stop him. No. Do not for a moment think in a bourgeois system that the courts are going to be your friend. They won't. Now what do I mean by force? Well that can mean anything. I leave it up to you to decide what you think proper force would be to stop this guy. But yeah, I really think you know, we're heading towards a fascist dictatorship. If we're not already in one by now. But I want to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section below. First time you see me, please subscribe. Lots of cool stuff on this channel. I think you might enjoy. So until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.